Hello, dear ones and light ones, my enchanted brothers and sisters. Hello, hello, and welcome to your twin flame soulmate reading. So, uh, I had pre shuffled the cards and I called upon God, the ascended masters, the angels, and archangels to pick out the, the cards and shuffle them. And I asked for three cards for the divine feminine. I got three cards. Asked for three cards for the divine masculine. I got four cards, <laughs> and I asked for an overall outcome, and I got three cards for that, and I got five cards for that, <laughs> and then I got two cards for what's going on right now. So, but I kindly ask that you like and subscribe uh, to my video, and of course, leave me any comments if you like. I appreciate it all. And um, remember, this is a general reading, so this could pertain exactly to you or it could be the energies that are around you or the other person. Just because it's divine feminine doesn't mean it's a woman. It can mean it's a woman, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a woman. It just means feminine energies, okay? And it's the same thing with the divine masculine. It can mean a man. <laughs> doesn't have to be. It's just the masculine energies that are around. So you put it to where it fits for you, okay? So uh, the energies that are around you right now are pretty cool. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Yay! So the Queen of Swords, this is an independent woman who's paid her dues, who takes care of herself, her business, okay? Uh, this this type of person. So, if, of course, if, this, if you are a woman watching this, this is probably pertaining to you or, or another woman in your life. Or, and if it's a man, it could also mean you. Uh, so again, I'm talking about feminine and masculine energies here. But uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is destiny, positive change. Something, the start of something new, things, you know, moving forward, the Wheel of Fortune here. So, you know, if you happen to be independent or single, talking about a single person, you paid, your, paid your dues and, you know, you take care of yourself, you're ready to move forward and it's going to happen. Now, the cards are a little crazy here today, <laughs> but we'll, let's go through them, okay? Um, so with the Divine Feminine, we have the first card that comes up is the Three of Swords. Yeah, so the heartbreak. There's swords, three swords going through the heart, but there is a sunshine in the middle of the heart, okay? And, and with this card, it could talk about heartbreak, it could talk about fights, it could be separation, sadness. This could also mean three-party situation, you know. And three-party doesn't always mean three people, we can. <laughs> um, but it can also mean two people in a job or two people in another situation, okay, that's brought heartbreak. To you, maybe you've had heartbreak or whatever, but we do have the Empress card. And with the Empress card, with the Divine Feminine, this is growth, prosperity, happy conclusions, rewards. This could mean children, pregnancy, okay, uh, family. With that, and then we have the Knight of Wands. Now, this is fast energy moving very quickly. You maybe, maybe you're moving from where you live or thinking about moving or your job is moving or something's moving, but it feels like a long journey to you or you've been through a long journey, now things are going to move forward. This also can mean a, a sexual thing with a man, okay? It could be that too, all right? So something's moving really fast, maybe sex involved with that. Uh, but you put it to where, I'm just throwing to you what these cards can mean. So you put it to where it fits. And with now, so that's the Divine Feminine. Now we're going to the Divine Masculine. And the first card that comes up is the Temperance card. Now the Temperance card, this is like the angels around you. This is talking about healing, balancing emotions, having patience, practicing moderation, Compromising, finding solutions, healing, gentle, love, peace. Okay, so I think that's within the masculine energy that, that you're looking for, or having the strength to take yourself to that place of healing because of what you've gone through. 
Okay, the heartbreak. There is the justice card here, the masculine energies. And this is justice, positive outcome, beneficial outcome, balance. Things are, that are going to work out, balance, justice. That's right for both situations or whatever situation that you may be going through. We do have the Ace of Wands. This is taking action, the birth of something new. So we have the Temperance card, the Divine Feminine about the birth of something new. And then we have the Two of Wands here too. Um, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. Uh, so this is uh, excitement, success, promise of the future, taking action, new things, the birth of new things, high energy. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Which I, I like when I see, uh, you know, a court male card in the divine masculine and a court female card in a divine feminine because we're really talking about a man or a woman here. So, but anyway, this is the, the king of pentacles. And he's talking about somebody who works really hard, who's patient, you know, who's generous, who's very smart, uh, gets what he wants, and he cares for his things. Okay. At least when I see this, I think of my Tilly, because that's exactly, he's the king of pentacles. <laughs> exactly who he is. And so, so whenever I see it, it makes me smile. <laughs> okay, so now, the overall outcome of all of this, the first card <laughs> is the death card. We all should love seeing this. So seeing this, especially when we're going through something, because it doesn't mean somebody's going to die. It means the death of something, the end of something. And it, with the end of something, there's a new beginning. Okay. So this is the end of something, the beginning of a new change, letting go what no longer serves you. Just let it go. It's gone. We do have the five of cups. And this is being let down, being betrayed. You know, there's five of cups and you see the three cups that are turned over here, but there's still two cups behind them. Okay. So everything's not, everything's lost. Everything, it's not all lost. Okay. So because you've been let down or felt betrayed, maybe you're reliving the same thing over and over in your head. It's haunting you. Get over it. It's your life isn't over. Your relationship maybe with that person is over, but your overall life isn't over. So you need to let it go so you can live and have a happy outcome. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups. And this is turning your back on the bullshit. <laughs> See, we have the cups here. <laughs> now you're turning your back on it, <laughs> which is a good thing listening to your inner voice, walking away, starting something new, turning your back on it, because you are the magician. You have everything in your power to be magical, to make these things happen. Okay. Everything you need. It's just time to take action now. Be the magician. You're, you're magical in that way. Because now we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is about prosperity, money. <laughs> um, also, uh, new beginnings. This could be also that a marriage, a commitment, higher commitment. This could be an inheritance. Maybe something's coming to you. Something that you deserve is coming to you. Material gains, things like that. Okay, so it's a little crazy, but it's, it's all good. So if you've been going through some some stuff, you know, heartbreaking all the time, to let it all go. You know, don't why you hold I don't, why do you hold on to something that hurts you? You want to get rid of it. You know, it's like having a stinky bag of trash in your house. Why why wouldn't you throw that out? You know, just throw it out and put it in a new bag <laughs> and fill it up with, <laughs> with whatever. <laughs> The, the, you know, that's the thing. People hold on to past memories, what somebody did to them. And the, and why are you holding on to this negative thing? Let it go. Love yourself. And so this way you have something wonderful come in. If you take out the trash, then you got 
I don't want to say room for more trash, but you know, but you know, empty the trash can. It's empty now. It needs to be filled up again. So you take out the stinky trash, and and hopefully it won't get stinky anymore. <laughs> But thanks for hanging out with me. And of course, please contact me if you're looking for a more personal uh, reading just for you. I'd be happy and delighted uh, to uh, meet you and do that for you. So, but overall, know that you're powerful when you're known. When you've got the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you. You're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed. You have to be in a place of love and peace in order to give it, right? And know that God blesses and loves you, and so do I. That's a kisses, love, hugs from me to you. And of course, I wish every single one of you namaste. Love, light and love in me recognizes the light and love. Until next time, take care. Okay, bye-bye.